A new year, a new decade, a new Lutaku box delivered to your door. What's inside the newest Lutaku subscription box? As we windshield wiper our way out of 2019, we move our way into 2020. This is the Barbara Walters year. And uh, with that, we've received yet another Lutaku box. Now, I don't believe jumping on that too quickly, it's going to be the January box because we're pretty early into the new year. Nor do I feel like this is the December box. I think we have to back one up further than that. Having just recently looked at the October box, I believe this is the November 2019 box. I could be completely wrong, but we'll know soon enough. Four sausage fingers appearing on screen tells us exactly what kind of stuff we're going to be getting inside the Lutaku box. Sausage fingers? No, you silly goose. What you're going to be getting is the likes of collectibles, replicas, t-shirts, and statues, and more. That is the the fifth digit of this group, and that is the thumb, Mr. Thumb. We're gonna go ahead and get this opened up, find out what's inside. I'm gonna grab my knife for this, Knifey McGee. We're gonna make a slice there, a slice there, a slice there. I didn't foretold the, foretell the future, but I'm sure you can probably see, see the seams, the seals the same way as I do. It's a whole lot of S's. We're gonna go ahead and get that cut, get that cut, and get the big boss down below cut and we're going to get that opened up and see what we've got inside now again i don't believe this is going to be december's box but we'll know soon enough what's going on here there's a whole lot of hands this is the band presto figure coliseum academia 4 or a, a, academy oh my brain academy volume 4 but it happens to be from My Hero Academia. That's probably why I was starting to kind of linger to the thought process of, of calling this Academia. That makes no sense whatsoever. The Band Presto Figure Coliseum. I really like the fact it's got all the included hands going on there. That's what it looks like on the back. That's pretty interesting, isn't it? It'll be even more interesting when we get this opened up, Jack, and we get this all built. That's what we're gonna do right now. Now, I've stated on record, you can even check the old, what was that old service that they used to have in libraries where you went through newspapers? What was that? You scrolled through it. I don't remember what it's called. It's gonna pop up in my head just out of nowhere. I'll probably be sleeping and it's gonna pop into my head. Even though I, the topic I was gonna mention though is even though I don't really follow a lot of anime, not as much as I should, I really like the statues and the collectibles that we get inside these Lutaku boxes. What was the name of that? Somebody who's old like me probably will be able to tell me. It's that old thing in the library. Would you be able to go through the newspaper articles? I mean, I guess the internet kind of just kiboshed all of that. What was it called? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't. It, do, it really truly doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and get the guy out without his head. We're going to get the base out without a body. It sounds like everything should be in the making. Everything should be coming together like a happy, happy family. I'm just making sure there's nothing else in there. Don't want to throw away anything accidentally. I'm going to take the peg holes on the undersides of his feet, line it up to the pegs on the top side of the stand, and attach that in place like so. Like that and like that. And we can go ahead and take the head. Look at that head. That's neat. Now, come on. Come on. Even if you don't like anime or you don't even know this character, how cool is that statue? I'm gonna go ahead and take the base, put that in place. Microfiche, is it microfiche? I'm still drawing a blank. Does it even matter? It really doesn't. Look at that display. That is a spectacle for the eyes. This guy is covered with hands. He's got the hands-on approach for his task. Apparently the hands are on him as well. There's a good handful of hands. A dozen or so hands? Let's count these off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen hands. That'll teach you the next time that you have a task and you ask for a hand. Maybe that's what happened to this guy as well. That's a really, really cool and creepy looking statue. 
Seeing what else we have in here as well. I see there's a letterhead. Let's quickly read that. Dear subscriber, due to a noticing due to noticing a mistake in our information card this month, we will instead upload the correct version online. You can go to www.lutaku.com and then November 19th, so I guess that's a giveaway as to what month this is going to be, to see all the information regarding the items you received inside this box. Help is now gone. My lifeline has diminished. We're going to just have to wing this on our own. I see inside as well, there's a coin. The coin says, Tau Pai Pai, 2019 Lutaku. And on the side of the coin, it says, Satsu Kill. That's what it looks like on the other side. You should thank me for letting you live. <laughs> for a second, sounded like Mr. Burns in that one episode. Hello, Smithers. You're quite good at turning me on. Ah, uh, you should probably ignore that. Next thing we have is the Lutaku Naruto. I always know I, I, pr I pronounce that incorrectly. It's a limited edition enamel pin, Sasori of the Red Sand. That's a pretty cool looking enamel pin. Look at that. I'm going to add that to my pin collection, which I might add even into the year 2020, the future after all. My pin collection is quite he uh, healthy and still growing every single day. Look at that pin. Get a gander at that pin. Uh, we also have inside a bag. I believe this is just a tote carry bag. Let's take it out of the package thing there. Kind of looks like a football. The zipper looks like this could house a football. And it says WMW, or does it say MWM? Uh, it does definitely look like it's a little tote bag, but definitely something that would also house a football. That's rather interesting. Uh, also, what, in, what else we have inside? Oh, get a gander at this. We've got ourselves a Lutaku. That is a Dragon Ball Z t-shirt. And I'm drawing a blank as to who that is. Somebody is going to tell me in all caps, I hope, with four exclamation marks. It's up to you guys. Let me know down below. That's pretty cool nonetheless. And it's a gray t-shirt, only further adding how much this stands out. It really does stand out quite a bit against the backdrop of the gray. Again, the only thing unfortunately omitted from this unboxing is the, uh, the, is the token card, the, tar the card that would tell us, for starters, the contents the price, and how much you would be saving if you were subscribing to the Lutaku box. But feast your eyes on all the stuff that we got inside this month's box. The November 2019 box, very handy in this video. Not as handy as this guy. This guy asked for a hand. Bad idea, guy. Bad idea. What was the best thing inside this month's box? I'm kind of digging the t-shirt, but I think my eyes are all over these hands. And these hands are all over this guy. That's probably my favorite thing inside this month's box. Let me know down below in the, in the comments section what you think the best item was in the 2019, moving back into the previous year, November... Let me know what the November 2019, the best item was inside this box. If you are interested in subscribing and, and again, getting all the th trinkets that we looked at here, as well as, again, collectibles, t-shirts, all that stuff, statue, and more, the big boss thumb. Also, if you're in the generous mood of subscribing and you haven't done so already to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and periodically windshield wiper your way over to the homepage and see if there's any videos you may have missed along the way. In 2020, there's a whole lot of stuff coming your way, guys. You don't know. I don't know. But the producers have a devilish smile from ear to ear and they're nodding their heads. That meme of Jack Nicholson is kind of, I'm kind of getting that same feel looking up at the producers. They know apparently there's a whole lot of stuff coming your way in 2020 and a whole lot of work on this humbled reviewer's shoulders. Either way, stay tuned. Keep your peepers peeled for this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.